My first memories of food are really the smell of my grandmother's kitchen in California. She had immigrated carrying her ingredients and her spices. Until this day, you could smell the spices that have seeped into her cabinets. I'm the chef owner of Reams, California, and our mission is to provide the warmth of Arab bread and hospitality. Today, we are here in sunny Oakland cooking at the Forage Kitchen. So I'm making a dish called shakshuka, which is this iconic dish enjoyed in the Levant. It's like a spicy red sauce that poaches the eggs and you dip your fresh baked bread in. And so I'm gonna be trying to actually make this on induction burners. Okay, so I'm charring my peppers. Early girl tomatoes. This is the last of the tomato season. So my guess is that the highest surface would mimic, you know, like a char broil. It's not gonna be as intense of a char, or maybe it will, I don't know. I can see how this could be really good for a professional cook. For Reams, one of the core tenets of our business model is sustainability. It's very important that we're cognizant of what role that we have to play in reducing the effects of carbon emissions and climate change. Mm, that smells really good. One thing that's nice about induction cooking is the sort of control. They're quite versatile, so it's amazing for sort of setting up kitchens right then and there. Let's see, I'm gonna try 400 and see. The trick to a perfect bread is getting that pocket of air in our pita. You got this. I believe in you. It's like the moment of truth when you put that dough on the hot surface. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over and hope it flips right on the, there we go. I think this is the winner. Nice and baked in the middle. Perfect consistency right now to nestle these eggs. Hi, Zuzu. Ready to eat? Working with induction surprisingly went well. I thought I was a pro. I realized that I have some things to learn. I didn't realize that you can actually put cast iron. I thought it was only specific type of metal. So it makes me think that I can do more live demos with bread in a way that I couldn't before. It was easier to keep a clean kitchen. And you know, my child coming around, I didn't have to be as scared for him to like touch fire. It's really important for me, for my son, who is half Arab and half Filipino, to know the traditions of our food. This is a pivotal moment for me to think about what does it mean to be a chef, a mother, all of the roles that I play in my community. And the way we cook is one of them. I think we need to embrace a new way of looking at things that is gonna lead us to a more sustainable future.